All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this later on over there. For our next deck is going to be Selesnia Control. So this is a uh, mana-based control deck. This thing's this one's a little different. Um, we are really focusing on trying to get as much mana as possible uh, with this deck. So in order to do that, we have a uh, treasure map that helps you hit your land drops and flips over to be extra mana. We have Thaumatic Compass that, that goes and gets lands out from your deck. Um, and then it eventually turns into another land as well. Um, we have Karn, which ticks up and always finds lands, right? Like Karn's great at ticking up and, and helping you hit land drops. And same with Vivian. Vivian can tick up and get land drops as well. Uh, we have Crucible Worlds to play the lands from our graveyard, uh, most notably Field of Ruin and Evolving Wilds. Um, and so we basically just try to get a huge, huge mana advantage on the opponent. And with all that mana, we have Dawn of Hope to make a bunch of soldiers or March of the Multitudes to make a bunch of soldiers. So we, we can make a bunch of little 1-1s one -ones with these two cards with that. Um, we have the... Um, we have, like, the combo of uh, Maze of Ith here, the Spires of Araska, um, being able to untap some attacking creature, which makes them attack with more creatures, and then we use Settle the Wreckage once they attack with more creatures. Um, so we have that that pretty good combo in there. Um, and there we go. So that's kind of the deck. Like, we're just going to, like, play some defense. Uh, we have Sword Tooth, of course, so we can play multiple lands a turn since we have... Cards like Karn and Vivian that, that get a tick up and keep a, grabbing us more lands. We get to play multiple lands a turn. Um, and uh, that's what we're doing over here. Uh, the games usually go pretty long. Uh, I've only played this deck for one league before, and it was like a close to a three-hour league. Uh, but, you know, like we did, we did well. We went 5-1, so uh, we played the maximum number of matches and everything. So... Uh, World Shapers, uh, we don't really put too many cards in the graveyard, uh, so I, I don't think we really need World Shaper to, to bring back lands from the graveyard. We're not really dumping lands into the graveyard very much here. Uh, yeah, Wilderness Reclamation probably would be good in this deck. Um, and as you can tell, there's not a single card from Ravnica Allegiance in this deck. Um... But honestly, I just don't. I don't really like Wilderness Reclamation. It would. It would. It would probably be an upgrade. But I don't like the card, so I don't want to play it. All right, so Lesnia Control. Feeling a little under the the weather today, so you have a stiff whiskey. Drown a cold is what mom used to say. Hope all is well. God bless. Thanks, Dark Phoenix. I'm a I'm a little under the weather too. We had like some snow yesterday, um, and yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit too. So, uh, pe so why are we playing settle when we don't have ways to deal with Shalai? Is a question, and basically. People don't really play Shalai, so I'm, I'm not really worried about it. Uh, Shalai is um, just an incredibly, incredibly small part of the metagame. It's just not a card you see very much, so that's that's not something I'm really worried about. We're working on a Jund version of Experimental Sword Tooth that has the Flying Ascend Dark Confidant. That sounds pretty cool. Um, for like, I, I do plan on uh, playing a. Uh, a Gruel Frenzy, Experimental Frenzy deck uh, pretty soon. This is the kind of game that we want to play. Just playing land drops and doing nothing else. That's exactly what we want to be doing. So our, our opponent's playing our game plan here. Throw a Karn out here. We got two Karns. We can get one countered. <laughs> yeah, um Yeah, it's all all good. Yeah, you can you basically uh if you you know you're missing cards, you know, like if you're missing like Karns and, and Vivian and, and stuff like that, um and you wanna try it out, uh you know, you can kinda replace them with 
with anything, you know, replace the cards with other things that you have. Um, you know, just kind of replace the cards around this. You want to just keep it around the same mana cost. Um, and, uh, you know, mostly card advantage cards. If you're replacing Planeswalkers, Planeswalkers are good cards with card advantage, so you just want to replace them with other things like that. Um, but yeah, it's certainly, certainly possible to replace stuff. All right, Eldest Reborn's gonna be a little annoying. Can we draw a Vivian to kill it? No. All right, let's go Karn. I'm gonna tick up I even though they could have another <laughs> Eldest Reborn. Which would be slightly annoying. So we're going to be counting on these Archer of to, to gain us a lot of card advantage here against a Sultai control deck. Please don't have another Eldest Reborn opponent. That's a good point, Mac, that, that casting the Karn on that previous turn when we did was a good idea anyway because of... Uh, Chemister's Insight. Don't want to just like let them just have Chemister's Insight. Um, I don't know if I want to throw Dawn of Hope out here. It kind of seems likely that they have a a counter spell. No, you do not want to play Follow the Thran in this kind of deck. Like, we're trying to, to hit a lot of land drops and everything. Follow the Thran would be... Uh, would kind of be the opposite. Because um, if we're making more land drops than the opponent, and then destroying all lands is, is a really bad idea. So you do not want to play Follow the Thran in this deck. All right, that's good. That means we get to resolve Dawn of Hope. Hmm. Nothing is ever truly lost. Key, welcome. Thanks for getting that Twitch Prime sub in yet again. Thank you so much, Key. Oh, I I am missing a pack, aren't I? Destroy one of these things? Nah. I already played a land, right? Yeah, I did. want to tap spires. I do not want them to tap spires. Alright, so that's sub number six on the day, and it looks like this went back down though. This is at 46, or 96. The choices we make reveal who we are. Yeah, so you're, yep, you're good. 
I'm not sure, yeah, why it didn't say all the months, but... Yeah, Spires is non-legendary, yeah. It could be difficult for our opponent to win. They they have lots of cards, but we got Dawn of Hope. And we have Archer Verasquez. Aw, thanks, Peaceful. Glad you're enjoying the chill streams. That's what I'm all about. All about those chill streams. Sub number seven on the day. All right, and we get another Dawn of Hope out here. Um, in case they have, in case they find like Vraska or Vivian. We got a second one. So one, two, so I can activate twice and make Evil two, two tokens. Um, or I can draw a card and activate once. Yeah, we've drawn all three. We have three in the deck for Dawn of Hope. So, I mean, they're, they're our win con. <clears throat> Why aren't we attacking with a lifelinker to draw a couple of cards? We don't really have things in our deck to draw right, to draw into. Uh, too much. I'm just gonna make more. Gonna just make more creatures. Like that's that's all I want to do right now is just make one ones. Gotta activate that before the mana goes away. Awaken. So this this next turn we're gonna be attacking Karn. I'll attack Karn. I block with one thing. Karn takes two. My retribution will be swift. Um No, I'm not I'm not playing Vivian right now. I certainly think they have Sinister Sabotage, like a counter spell. Like I'm not gonna play Vivian into a counter spell uh this turn. Alright, 
sense. Attack blue sources. Ugh, I have another basic island? Gross. No, I did not upload the, the Soul Tire 5 0 run on YouTube. Uh, we had some troubles with the video and everything. Um, I had to re I had to restart my stream, restart the computer, and stuff like that. So, didn't upload that. Um, you can find you can watch it um, on my Twitch vods here. Um, uh, but no, so sorry, didn't it was not able to get to YouTube. Yeah, they're yeah. They sabotaging. Maybe I should be attacking green with Field of Ruin. Uh -huh. Thanks, Penumbra. Yeah, drawing that forest was pretty bad for us. We definitely did not want to draw another basic there. Correct. Yeah, no, I, I would love to... Yeah, Crucible Field of Ruin is, is going to be great in this matchup. Um, I, I would like to draw my Crucible for sure. We got two Crucibles in here. No, you cannot spire your own creatures like Maze of Ith. It's rude. Spire says uh, creatures your opponent controls. It's like a fixed Maze of Ith. Go upkeep with the stop. Yeah, that's fine. So we have to kill our opponent before we mill out, which can be a problem. Wow. It's not expecting the counterspell on the Thaumatic Compass. So I play Vivian, shoot down Krasis, and... How this thing... <laughs> Get that out of here.
I bet a curious choice. I, I need to start making a lot of tokens with these Zonophobes pretty soon. I think that's what I'm going to be spending my next few turns doing. Hmm. I don't know why they don't want me to have seal away. Seems kind of weird. That's annoying. That doesn't get anything. No more basics left in the deck. Already got all nine in play. I do not want Vivian to die. Um, and let them have Vivian. Aw, oh, come on. Meet yeah, it looks like we're losing frames. Friend. My computer struggling just a tad over here with this. Looks like the stream struggling a little bit with the um, with all this. Um, I play best of one if people donate for best of one. Um, if they want want to see you play, that's that's when I play best of one. Uh, but no, I, I normally just do to do best of three, but I, I do have donation decks sometimes that are best of one and and uh, And so that's like the the time that I play those the most Our opponent has a lot of basic lands and I don't like it So they're out of basics. Um, yeah. <laughs> You can see why this deck would be a three-hour league. All right, next, go to combat. No attackers. Um, I'm not sure what I want to do with this Vivian. If I want to just kill the, just kill the Eldest Reborn or not. The 
The problem is, like, another Eldest Reborn would be really annoying. Where am I at? I'm at 18, they're at 24 as far as, as, far as cards. No one said restoration was painless. Well, they won't. So if I if I would have ticked up Vivian, they won't be able to reborn it. Like I, I, that's the only Vivian I have in the graveyard now. The problem is, is like a, another reborn uh, will be able to take Vivian, and that's what I that's what I really don't want to see is another reborn. So they can play two lands a turn. Um, are they just going no? They're just going no lands? Wow, they have no lands in hand. That's crazy. Um, let's crack a treasure draw card. Bleh. Seventeen cards in library? How are they discarding all these ritual sets? I'm a Dawn of Hope deck. Perfect. Now let's have some fun. They have 19 in their deck, I have 16 in my deck. Yeah, that would be nice to have, yeah, the, the red land that sacks to destroy land. I kind of want to, so I'm keeping up all my mana here uh, for March of the Multitudes, depending on what my opponent does. Just take three. All right, so they're le leaving up mana for a counter spell, of course. So let's just start Dawn of Hoping again. Doesn't look like they have any green basics. Come on, computer, you can do this.
No, they don't have any basic forests. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. They don't seem to have very many lands. They haven't been playing lands. Where are all their lands at, though? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven in the graveyard. Seven plus four is eleven, twelve, thirteen. Um. All right, so three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Let's do fourteen. No, not, not that land. Is this not 14 yet? I feel like I already paid that now. Okay, yeah, I did. I mean, our opponent can maybe, like, they, they think they can, they can have me mill out. That's what they're thinking. But if I just, if I'm just making tokens every turn for the next 15 turns, I think we're going to be okay. I think I'm going to go to my next turn and, and alt F4 and try to reset arena here. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to fix this tomorrow on my computer. Yeah, and I'll, I'll see how, how the... Um, I'll see how like my, my meeting goes tomorrow with paying taxes and everything and if it goes really well uh, maybe I will maybe I'll be able to buy a new computer. We'll see. I've had this this has been my streaming computer ever since I started streaming, which has been uh, basically three years ago now. Ugh. Um, but it was it was a really nice computer three years ago. And I don't really do anything else except for just stream arena. I don't play like other computer games or anything like that. You know, I'll watch like Netflix. Really, deck? No more white mana for another one? Alright, so we're at 13 cards in library. They're at 14. They're close by. I have to manually tap these colorless lands myself because of the auto tapper.
So what's the goal of this deck? Uh, to win with basically kind of prison the opponent out, kind of like how we've done. We'll eventually win with like these, all these tokens from Dawn of Hope and everything. Oh yeah, I gotta kill Harbor. Good call. Yeah, I I kind of miss that they played Harbor with everything else that I was doing. So yeah, let's let's kill this Inchilin Harbor. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so I was seeing if... Oh, can I just decline all? There's 32 of these things. How is there not like a decline all button? If this rope starts going down because I'm telling me that I'm playing too slow... Yeah, where's where's that resolve all trigger, like the decline all? Okay, so I can, I can skip the turn. Yeah, if I would, so I need to like play my lands first next time, so I can skip turn. Alright, yeah, let's destroy this land, and then try the skip turn thing. I don't need to cast Karn. This is some good fa fashion magic right here. Pass turn. Please don't give me any triggers. Just just go. I don't need the triggers. Wait, we know we have treasure map right there? Oh, we actually know the our library? Oh, we were looking at it because of because of Field of Ruin. Just pass. Uh Can I hit No, gotta click. I, I, I feel like this wasn't the case last time. You know, the last time we played this deck. You know, there's been a lot of updates. We only played it one other time before RNA came out. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we could probably tap out on our turn so that we wouldn't get all those. Yeah, I bet if we tap out, it would go past all those. But they just play a whole lot of sweepers. You know, we've seen so many sweepers from them. Let's see, three three Ritual of Soots, two Cry of Carnariums, and a Finality. Or, and two Finalities. We've kind of seen too many sweepers from them, so that's why... Um...
I don't want to tap out on my turn. Plus, plus the Spires of Roscas keep back the Hydra Crasises, so I don't really want to tap out for those either. But I guess we're at millions of life now. Oh no, compete. Come on, Arena. Alright. Let, let the auto tap do its thing. Hey, auto tap to good. Oh, right. I can play these. I didn't play this field of ruin from my graveyard last turn. I forgot about that. I, I don't know, I just kind of instinctually put the Temple Garden in tapped, but yeah, I probably should just be shocking. I Obviously, I have not counted right now if, you know, if that's going to cost us an activation or not. And it does not look like it will. There's one away from costing us an activation. Yeah, this is possible in paper. It's probably easier to do in paper because you just move a dice up. You know, you're just like, all right, you know, you just I would just like clump clump your lands in, in piles of four. And at this point, like with Dawn of Hope, honestly, if I'm playing in paper, not only do I have like the lands clumped in piles of four with like a white source to activate all of these, I am I'm not even like tapping at an end step. I'm just like pointing. I'm like, all right, that's one, two, three, four. Five. All right, I'm making five tokens, put, like, five dice out there, and then, like, all right, my turn, draw a card. Like, I'm, I'm not even, like, wasting the time of, like, tapping and untapping. I'm just, like, <laughs> that's honestly what I would be doing if I was playing this in paper. It's, it's good that we don't have, like, the MTGO timer, that we don't have to worry about, like, running out of time that way. We have nine more turns to kill the opponent. which we should be able to kill them in nine turns. <laughs> They're going to finality again? A third finality? Sure. I, I did try skip turn after the triggers are on the stack. It doesn't work. I've tried that. Tried, tried the the different things like that. All right, so we can make sure to pay for a spell pierce. All right, so 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 22. Oh! Uh. Clicked through one too many times. Oh, I should kill the, kill the green source. Crap. Too focused on attack on casting the march of how much to cast the march. Come on, Arena, you can do it. You can do it, little buddy. Come on, little buddy. I assume that they have a counterspell for the march. 
So I don't want to cast it there because because of, of a counter spell. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I could. Yeah, I should have just played March for like you know twelve. I didn't need to count up to like how many twenty or whatever. It was. All right, finally, game one. All right, can't wait for game two. So the, hmm, let's see what we want to do here. That was, yeah, that was match one, game one. Um, this this could definitely be a tough matchup for us with them having the green. They probably have a lot of disenchant effects, which we don't really want to see. Having all the discard. Effects also is kind of rough. Let's definitely get spyglasses in for planeswalkers, but we didn't see any planeswalkers. It didn't seem like they had like Vraskas or anything. Um, what's the point of Crucible Worlds in the game? To replay our lands from the graveyard. That's how we. That's how we. That's what main reason why we destroyed our killed our opponents because we kept on buy, buying back our field of ruins and destroying their lands. Like they could have had like Vivians in their hand that we don't know about because they never had two green after a while. Takali doesn't do anything against Krasis now. I'm not sure if Carnage Tyrant is going to be that good against this Eldest Reborn deck. They may not. They may take out Elvis Reborn though. So let's do this. Play Seal Away Over Saddle also. Yeah, Matthew, I'm not opening up clips right now. My computer's already kind of struggling. I'm not going to be opening up whatever clip. Hawkeye's up there lying on the bed. I saw him earlier. He was earlier. I was like, Hawkeye, where are you at? And he was, uh, I couldn't find him. And he was like laying under the covers with just like his head popping out. Well, that game was a little faster. Opponent mold to five, and I guess didn't have a, a good, too good of a hand. Let's try, let's go ahead and uh, restart again. So yeah, they mulled a five. Did not want to continue on. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Mulligans in the new test. So it's, you draw seven, then put X cards onto the bottom of your deck, equal to the number of mulligans you take. Yeah, I don't, I don't think you need something better than Scry. I don't, I don't, I don't like it. They're testing it in a modern event. That sounds horrible. It just makes, it just makes you 
like you know less punished for playing super linear uh combo decks with mulligan rules like that like it just makes like Gorio's vengeance so much better and it's just it's just worse like you know because if you just get to you know if you scry if you, if you mulligan once you get to look at seven again when you're when you're playing combo decks that only need a few cards like Gorio's vengeance um you just get so many looks at those cards and that's it'll just make those decks really good and really consistent Yeah, previous opponent scooped. I like where the, the rules at right now of Descry 1. Yeah, like Le Legacy Storm. And those older formats, you just can't have a rule like that, honestly. I'm not going to draw here because I just want to make another 1-1. One, one. I have no time for a break. Let's go, Dawn of Hope. Not every fight can end in victory. Rude. Let's skip to the good part. So I certainly think our opponent has um, an absorb. Maybe probably multiple absorbs. Um Enough! because of how they shocked in on turn three. So I don't want to just like play one thing into an absorb, so I'm just going to be making another 1-1. One, one. Making another 1-1 one, one here is also you know what? I'm uh, not good because yet. Teferi's at three loyalty. I could have made a third 1-1. One, one. We really don't want our opponent to find Mortify. As long as they don't find Mortify, we're doing just fine. Um, Until you have lived as a statue, do not talk to me of pigeons. I'm getting too old for this. This game is basically all about Mortify. Our, our Dawn of Hope is just so important to us in this game here. I'll make use of that later. Eight mana right Want now. Me to phase you out of time. <laughs> 
Treasure map's the other card. Bzz. That's the problem. That is not what we want to see. Keep up the pace. Should have drawn a card the last turn also. Decisive action is needed. Hmm. I mean Crucible is honestly my best card here, right? Like they, they, they're certainly saving their counterspell for Vivian. I don't, I don't think our opponent has any more basics. I don't think. Or maybe uh, they probably have a basic plant island. We need maybe not with Kai's Wrath, honestly. Squirrel Master, thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub. Let's get some hype in the channel for our new subscriber, Squirrel Master D. Thanks, Squirrel Master. Sub number eight on the day. Um, there it's just switched to ninety-five. There. Awaken. Oh, I know. Love it. I love that eating a mortify and not like a cast down or something like that. Because of Dawn of Hope. Let's take it back. New Teferi. Let's slow this down. Hold that thought. Um, so if I would have, if I would have put that, if I would have scribed that to the bottom, I would have been able to, to redraw Crucible, uh, with the help of Archer Veraska, but Wayward Swordtooth is pretty good. The problem is I don't get to activate, um, Field of Ruin this turn. 
to make sure to draw that crucible. No more games. Keep up the pace. Crucible is our most important card. That's mean. I hope they don't have another negate. Looks like they're only going to have two mana. Ah, uh, no, they have three mana. Well, it could be two mana. I can only destroy one land. I only have one field of ruin right now. Alright, please don't have negate. Hooray! Oh, I have Land of War all for a mana also. Uh, Hold that thought. Cataret? Cataret Top? D20 with that Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much, Cataret Top. I hope you're enjoying the stream. And I am glad that you are... Uh, you're, sub -sub that you're subbed, and thank you so much for the support. So that's sub number nine on the day. 94 over here. Yeah, how are we going to keep this Teferi from ultimating? We need to move quickly. Yeah, that's that's the plan. Just gonna make a whole lot of one ones on, on their turn. Uh, so we have 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We have 17 mana right now. So we can make four one ones. I guess I could have 18 mana. won't let you win.
Arena, come on. You can do it, little buddy. Six hour long loop with this, maybe. This is the the hardest of control decks. We are. It's the slowest, the slowest of of bleeds. Here. Why did you sack a treasure instead of paying two with life to steal? At the at the time, I wasn't. I was thinking that I wasn't going to draw another card, but then realized that we could. So yeah, that was kind of a waste. Seven, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Uh, I'm certainly not cutting settle for cleansing Nova. Absolutely not. No, settle's very good. Skip to the good part. They're down to eleven cards in library. Down to nine. Basically I just need to ferry not to ultimate. Immortal Sun's certainly an option. Um well, I don't know. We we're playing our plane our own planeswalkers. Thing is, Settle is just the best against Soltai. Just so much better than Cleansing Nova. And because of, and Settle works so good with these spires of Araskas. Also. I hope my opponent doesn't have settle. They're gonna have enough removal spells. Do I need to attack with Land War Elf? Man, if this doesn't work because I didn't attack with Land War Elf, I'm gonna be upset. Okay. Time for Plan B. As soon as I think of one. So I'm at 20 mana right now. So these cost three, six. All right, so Teferi's not ultimated yet. De decline engine online. <laughs> I, I hate the new mulligan thing. Oh, 
at 15 mana right now. I, I hope there's I hope that new mulligan rule does not come into effect. Standard, it's not really that big a deal. Um, I think it's it's perfectly reasonable for standard and everything, but for older formats, uh, they could really take advantage of it. From what I um, presume the rule is, from what people have been saying here in chat. Thanks, folks, games. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. How many how many mortifies does Esper Control usually play? I'm not ready for this quite yet. Oh. And Alcalal as well. Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> 17th one. Thank you so much, Akalal. You are amazing. I know. You have to keep on telling me about the anniversary. It is a little one-sided. Minimum three, usually four. Okay, so they've played three already. Right? Three mortifies. I don't I don't know if somebody wants to help go through go through their library how many mortifies and absorb they've already played. Like is you know, they have they have seven they don't have many cards left in their library. We can probably kind of figure out what those cards are left in their library. Like I'm wondering about wondering about counter magic also with this Dawn of Hope. They have three Mortify in the graveyard. Alright, how how about what do they have for Absorb over here? One, two... Only two Absorb in here? And a Sinister Sabotage? So they probably have like two more Absorbs? Time is much more Crap. Than people think. What do they do? just do? They tuck their Teferi? Yeah. I forgot about Archer Varaska. I should have activated this last turn. I just forgot about that. I was just, you know, thinking about the other stuff. Um, do I have enough to do all these? Yes. So, five. Oh, wow. I've lost so much already. I won't lose more. Hmm. You can't stop nature. Uh, Vivian's the least important card uh, in my hand. It's, yeah, Vivian doesn't matter too much. It's Crucible and Let's Crucible and Dawn of Hope are the ones that I want to resolve. I was I was really hoping that Vivian would have got countered there. Crucible and Dawn of Hope are the are the keys, especially especially Crucible. Dang it! How many of those things do they have left? One, two, that's the last one of those. Crap. 
All right, I have, I have one more Crucible in here. Because Crucible ends the game for us. Like, we win if Crucible resolves. I know my responsibility. From what I understand, what the new... Reverse! Um... Mulligan rule is, I hate it. Perfect. Crucible. Alright. Here we go. Because Crucible uh, means they cannot... They can't cast their Teferi anymore. We get Crucible going. Let's see if we find a Wayward Sortooth. Does anybody know if that that rule is is actually if it's actually going to be a rule or if it's just an experimentation as of now? So the only way our opponent stays alive is by continually tucking their Teferi, um, playing Teferi and tucking it so they don't mill out. Um, but Crucible is going to destroy all their lands, so then they do mill Stand out. Stand by and watch. Not so fast. Okay, well. All right. That should do it. Because we're, we're going to go scry, go, go get uh, Crucible again. Good job, Crucible. Y'all just saw the power of Crucible of Worlds. Yeah, we've only played two games so far. Game two, our opponent conceded. Wait, like that, the rule is going to be actually legal in, in some big modern tournament? What is it? Is it legal in like a, a modern Grand Prix or something? Or is it like a modern Pro Tour that they were making it legal? I don't know if they're playing Novas. If they're playing Nova, they would have destroyed all our artifacts and enchantments. But the fact that the Esper decks aren't really playing Novas anymore um, is really good for us. Um This isn't working. Hopefully the stream's back. All 
Alright, are we back? Alright, we're back. I, I don't know the exact... Oh my gosh. What is going on here? I'll just crack these things before whatever that was happened again. Happened multiple times. Usually you click like OK, like goes to combat or whatever. But it was just skipping the whole turn. I just kept skipping my turn. <laughs> the name Crucible Worlds. Get those out of there. Alright, no Crucible Worlds. Opponent. Um. I think our opponent probably has, like, I, I would like to play Vivian to destroy the Escanta there, but I think they likely have a, um, a negate. Looking for land. It's not a land. All right, we'll see if they have Kaya's Wrath or not. <laughs> Thanks, Sir Swin Swindler. Because if, if they do have Kaya's Wrath, they have to at least tap out for it. Then my Vivian kills there as Kanta. No Kai's Wrath. I'm no. Keep up the pace. Uh, they un so they unward ego crucible of worlds. They took out both of those. Yeah, they're certainly playing like they have negate. This is hardly my worst defeat. Kai's Wrath. Really? I had an upkeep stop. I guess not. I didn't live through he that can't help you now. Until you have a curious choice. Yeah, I guess we need to click. Yeah, I guess I clicked too late. Alright, try and the upkeep stop now. Yeah, Flash Panda. I'm doing good. Not every fight can end in victory. Alright, Karns are gone. You can't stop nature. Man, our deck is sweet. Just have lots of mana. So many lands to play. 
You'll thank me. We need to move quickly. I'll keep stop. All right, bottom. That's already the third to ferry. Oh yeah, you're right. Kill that. Now what? I don't know. You can do whatever the you want. The wilds are my shield. Um, let's see what else we got going on over here. <clears throat> Lame. Ah, not again. Three mana up again. For another counter spell. Of course, I'm, I'm going to make them k kill this Carnage Tyrant before I play another Carnage Tyrant. Field of Ruin? Yeah. I like Field of Ruin. Eh, I guess it's probably not. Nah, they got three basics. It's not, it's not really doing anything. Oh, don't tap the Treasure Cove. Stupid deck. Let's see what we got here. What deck would you recommend to grind the ladder with? I have um, mono red, mono blue, Esper, and Esper. I'm in gold one. Um, those all sound pretty good. It's kind of just whatever you're more comfortable with, honestly. Um, I like them all. Um, I haven't played a ton of ladder, but I'm I'm like basically where you are there in gold. And Mono Blue is a deck I see a whole lot. So it's got to be a pretty good choice. My computer has only been a problem for like the last like two days. This hasn't been a problem before. I don't I don't know why it's it's like this now. Uh, I'm not sure Flash Panda. I haven't really decided that yet. I don't know.
Okay, so they can still chromium. So I can trade Carnage Tyrant for Chromium by attacking. Um, if I want to make that trade. And I guess so. I mean, I, I don't I don't think that really... I don't think there comes a, a chance where like we don't trade, basically. down the Esper control player. Milled him out game one. Yeah, game one we milled him out. And then uh, game two, Carnage Tyrants got the beat down in. Yep, this is live. All right, 2-0. Oh. Man, our deck is cool. So who who knew that Selesnya control would be out grinding the, uh, I'm I've been out grinding the control decks. We just beat Soltai control and then Esper control, out grinding both of those. You know they got their all their blue card draw and everything. I like Swordtooth in in the Titan the Bloomless Titan deck. Um, yeah, I think I think Sortu's a, a fine choice there. I mean, it's like a you know a fifth Azusa. I think that's you know Azusa. It's good enough to have a fifth one basically. <laughs> All right, turn two treasure map. Turn three Crucible. Let's go. Okay, yeah, it's not only just the hardware. The game's lagging for you too. <laughs> I just I've never put anything on the the Windows desktop. Did you see the as for told electro balance modern deck? I have not. I have not. I to be fair, I haven't paid up with paid too close attention to modern the last couple months. I need an I do need to make an, um, Orzov, Knights and Angels, thumbnail for the YouTube video. Sword 2 is pretty big, that's a good draw. Every fight makes me stronger. All right, so just looking for like a white source. I don't want Temple Garden though. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to shock. 
uh, against the red deck. Um, but I do want to activate the treasure map. You know, I want to hit an, uh, another land drop um, and be able to activate treasure map. So I'm just taking the, the basic. So that's nine. So Swordtooth will be able to start attacking and blocking next turn. Alright, that video is up. Uh, foretold Electro Balance. Yeah, I'd have to kind of see it in action and everything. I mean, it looks, it looks like a, it looks like a, a modern deck, you know. Um, Everything looks kind of reasonable to me. Yeah, everything looks pretty reasonable. The Tormod's Crypt is pretty cute to be able to like have instant speed for two mana with Electro Dominance. I don't know if Crypt is better than just Surgical in the current modern metagame, but better just to be playing Surgical. Electro Dom Domestico, hey man. Howdy. Alright, so I kind of need, like, what, like Dawn of Hope? Need some life gain? This is certainly a tough game one matchup for us. No one knows the wilds like I do. Go, sword tooth, go. But we have, we have, uh, this is what we have our Shalais and Liras in our sideboard for is this, this matchup. Our opponents had a, a pretty awful hand. Um, like we really shouldn't be in this game. Our opponent's hand's been really bad. They've just had two skewers, a lightning strike, and a firebrand. Crucible's in our deck to continually get our Field of Ruins back. That's how we beat the other control decks. Um, Crucible was the card that allowed us to win those other games. Using a treasure just for a scry because of because you know I'm not expecting this game to go on much longer. So I don't think we'll have time Balance to like use all comes. of those. Treasures, that is. I think I think the best Planeswalker of all time is uh, Jace the Mind Sculptor myself. Other ones in the in the uh, conversation are Teferi here of Dominaria, Liliana of the Veil, Karn Liberated, and Dak Faden. Please don't kill me with this stupid 1-1. One, one. Please don't have like 6 points of burn in hand. Uh, just looking for Seal Away there. Seal Away would, would have been the card that we could have drawn there. So 
So they have one turn to kill us. Hope they don't You're have six points of burn in hand. Of here. Hope they don't, uh... They're certainly dead next turn. Well, I guess all they need is five points of burn because of Firebrand. So hope they don't have five points of burn. All right, them not casting any spells. That looks good. Man, how bad was our opponent's hand if they don't kill us? Oh, no. That looks bad. No, don't shock. No. No. Oh, my gosh. This is so close. They had us dead. Okay. So let's get these Shalais and Lyra's in. Other Sealaways. Um, do I want Honor Guards also? Maybe. We don't need the Crucibles in this matchup. Automatic Compass is not so good either. Yeah, I think I'm probably going to play some Honor Guards. Maybe take out some Settles. Take out at least one Vivian. Maybe two. The thing that... Compass does make Karn a little better. We have a lot of things that are too slow, unfortunately. Get two settles, one Dawn of Hope. Yeah, we'll see if they have Frenzy with us. I was having Vivian out there. I'm not sure if they will or not. All right, Honor Guard, do your thing. Just hopefully not just to get lightning stri stricken. And we need to draw some land so we can get to this Karn. So Karn can start making some Karn Strucks to kill our opponent. The red deck getting skewer the critics has made is a little is kind of bad for our deck as we saw there that last game. Turning on Skewer. Going the hard way. Did not hit the land, though. Real unfortunate for us. I'm saying it's bad when if Honor Guard eats Lightning Strike because then we don't have a blocker, basically that. Alright, alright. I'm not gonna shock though. 
Um, do I want treasure map or seal away? I think I want seal away. For the stupid firebrand. Yeah, I guess so. It's just gonna save us life. Because I definitely assuming our opponent's gonna lightning strike the honor guard and then attack with firebrand. It seems like just like the most reasonable course of action. Or that can happen. Or they could just not care about it. Our actions determine the court how convenient. So I'm, I'm playing Karn and digging, because I'm digging for Shalai and Lyra. Specifically, Shalai would be nice. Um, so that's why I'm playing Karn and digging up. Digging for our angels. Alright, what are these three cards in hand looking like? I'm hoping creatures. Creatures I can beat. Well, can kind of beat. Beat-ish. Cannot withstand a righteous army. <clears throat> All right, switching up with the honor guard gone. I want to still want to play some defense. Um, so getting the, just getting the treasure map in play to be able to upkeep Scry. Oh no, that thing's bad. That's bad news. Alright, we need Shalai this turn. This turn right now, if we draw Shalai, we can win. Shalai. Dang. Didn't get there. Um. Hey, track team. You may regret that choice. Because with, with Shalai in play, you're, you're, the opponent cannot even cast, um, can't even cast risk, risk factor with Shalai in play. We should be dead now, though. I would be shocked if we're not dead. And I'll likely be shocked if we are dead also. Mm. We are not dead. All right, come on, shall I? Ooh. 
Ooh. Looky what we found. Let's go to main. Go to combat. Go to attackers. Attack here. Alright, so now all they need to do is cast two spells to kill us. So we're not we're not out of the woodwork yet. Oh I I probably should not even These attack there actually. Us. Kinda think of it. I should not have attacked there because I could have made another one one. Yeah, that's a bad attack. Yeah, I didn't need to attack there. I, I kind of forgot about the march there for a second. So they had to have two spells to kill me. Yeah, I should not attack there. What? Unblockable creature. Now they just need one spell. Remember, they cannot cast Risk Factor. I should just block Shalai. I should just I should have Shalai block Steamkin because if they have an instant or sorcery, we're dead anyway. Okay, they had an instant or sorcery. Why did they just play that last turn? Did they just draw it this turn. If they had that last turn, why don't they just play this thing and just make this unblockable thing? I'm confused. No, I needed so I needed to untap. I was gonna I was gonna be playing March, and untapping with the creatures and activating uh, Shalai and getting uh, gaining more life there. If I if I gain if I play the March and gain the two life, um, I I do. <clears throat> I do stay alive that turn, but I don't think I stay alive. I don't stay alive the next turn though, because I just only gained two, and I am I'm still at two the next turn, and like, you know, I, I'm probably dead the next turn. I think the the way to win the game is to, um, keep the two, like untap with the two creatures, and uh, then be able to activate Shalai the next turn and make them two twos and be able to gain four and so on. So. Casting March and blocking with the two lifelink creatures would have kept me alive for one specific turn, but they still have the unblockable creature, and I'm not killing them the next turn. And both of our creatures would have been dead. We're not going to win that game. Going like that. All right, so we, we did get to... Um, we did hit our 10 sub-plateau. Got to our sub-goal there, so we're cracking open a pack for that. Uh, I don't think... I think playing the goblin certainly meant not to not to go with that line, because the goblin was only going to hit me for one, and um, and I had a, a chance to un untap and survive. I I don't regret not playing March. I wouldn't play March again there. What I do regret attacking with the sword tooth and not making not being able to make another one. I think if I if I don't attack with the sword tooth, maybe I can make one creature. Yeah, you know, I can make three creatures and maybe block with one of them. But game three, I don't think we're winning a game three, though. That's just going to be a pretty tough match. We basically need Shalai or Lyra, uh, and maybe even both of them, like turn four, turn five. Uh, you know, per perhaps earlier with the help of Llanowar Elves, but... I don't know if we were going to win the game three anyway. All right, let's go to our next match. So two and one with Selesnya control. And our, we got a good quick hand here. No, not mono red. Not mono red. Be like be be Drakes or something else. Ugh. Dang. 
You finished a game against Mono Red at 68 health. That's just showing off. I'm just gonna draw it. I hope it's a land. Okay, good. With it with it being a land, we do get to we get to do this. We get to sword tooth and play a new land. What do you think about them bringing back the snow mechanic? Honestly, I don't know what the snow mechanic is. I guess like oh like like snow covered forests and snow covered plains and all that kind of stuff. Um, and snow permanence. I would be fine with them bringing it back. I'd be fine with them not bringing it back. It doesn't really, doesn't really affect me too much. I don't know. It's perfectly fine either way. Let's scry that to the bottom. All right, and then actually no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna scry on upkeep here because I I want to play Karn. Big thing is, what do I want to do with Karn? Do I want to take Karn up, or I may just want to make a token? We'll see. If we draw a land, I'm making a token. If we don't draw a land, um, To not draw a land. Kind of wanted the land. I'm certainly playing Karn. I will fight with honor. I just don't, I don't like how we had to take a turn off of activating treasure map. But I think having a blocker for the Lava Runner or, you know, a burn spell. I mean, I think this is just this is just the thing. We'll just, you know, take resources from them. Whether it's Lava Runner or them. There are greater battles to fight. Yeah, like, that's fine. It's a good Karn, you know, trading with their, their creature and a Lightning Strike. Kind of sounds like, yeah, it does kind of sound like Queen, doesn't it? You're right. Hey, Muscany with the deck donation. Thanks, Musk Muskegee. So what deck, all right, so we, so you know what, what deck would you like to see played first, but then also, um, <clears throat> what day and time so tomorrow no stream tomorrow but then i should be streaming saturday hopefully um i'm going to be doing re some repairs on the computer and stuff tomorrow um and also have my taxes my taxes are being done tomorrow as well um it's gonna be long meeting there so should be should be streaming again on Saturday. Right now I only have I only have one deck in the queue right now just Saturday at like 7 7:30 Eastern. Is my only deck right now. So I can do it basically any other time. Do like Monday, Wednesday also. All right, so we have to use all of our treasures here. But I certainly think this is worth it.
Gotta stay alive. Saturday anytime? Okay. Perfect. Alright, then then uh what deck Did you link it? Wild animals I in like. there? Okay, Come no, yeah, some me. some of your deck list that you'd like me to play. And Yep, I'll play it on Saturday. No, there's no decks that I won't play on the donation page, no. Nope. Uh just just standard, I guess though. I'm not I'm not playing the other formats. Um, yeah, I'm just doing standard here on Arena. That's it, though. You can't stop. Ah, uh, there's nature. March. I'm getting this Evolving Wilds and reshuffling to shuffle that march back in. Now this is game one. So I don't I don't have Lyra or Shalai or anything like that in. Uh, really, we're just looking for like Dawn of Hope and March of the Multitudes, are like our things with Life Link here. Yeah, you can send it to me on Discord. Yep, absolutely. You can also just you just link it here uh, if if you have like the the link. You know, if you have it like uploaded on I've Goldfish or something that like that. I've seen things break someone like you. Um, and I'll save it. Must not be There's tolerated. March. All right, so our opponent has two turns. They have two draw steps before we're going to be able to gain a lot of life. So they have two draw steps to get get the burn spell. Because next turn I can I can minus Karn and get March and you know play a big March, but it's the turn after that I that I have to attack, that I get to attack. So, um, yeah, Vivian Ult plus March is certainly going to be a good game, but it you know we got time. to got to get there. So what was lost is now returned. So they get one more, one more draw step now. Right. Don't. Ah. Uh. So close. So close. We just keep on like barely losing to Mono Red. Um, Xerif with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the stream, Xerif. Thank you so much for that sub. I really do appreciate that. Sub number 12 on the day. And we're at 90... Oh, it went back down. 94 is what it's saying. Thanks for all the entertainment. Aw, oh, you're welcome, Zareph. Uh, this is 62. Trim one settle. And maybe both settles with having these extra sealaways and stuff. 
Yeah, let's do that. Perfect. Yep, muskety, muskety, that works. Perfect. I mean, yeah, I guess this is a keep. Our deck doesn't do a whole lot better. Than this. Next turn we'll have like treasure map plus start scrying. Hey Sarah Finit. Hey Sarah. <clears throat> so we we're playing if you're just joining, we're we're playing a Selesnia control deck. Um where we're two and one, we outlasted other control decks. Um Sultai and Esper controls, but Mono Red is, is kind of tough for us. We lost to Mono Red uh, as our one loss, and then this one isn't looking so good for us either, with us being down a game right now. It's not looking it's not looking so good either. Already down to ten. Gutter snipe? Why gutter snipe? That card is so good against me. I don't like have any removal. Well, if we're gonna do something, might as well do something. Oh, uh, we're not in the main phase. They have one card left. Hopefully it's not a card that kills Lyra. Hopefully, like, they don't have just two two burn spells. Okay, the land is a good sign. That's good-ish sign. Lyra's not dead, but they get a lot of cards. Be attacking for lethal next turn with the Lyra and double sword tooth. All right, this one's looking good. Um, I, of course, don't have the mana to make any tokens, but we can draw a card with Lyra hitting our opponent. Why am I? I should not be. Oh, wait, is this. Should I be attacking with all these things?
What if I left the Swordtooths back? And just attacked with Lyra? I didn't really think this through. Because this is 4, 8... Yeah, does a one does a burn spell kill me? Does like a shock or like a lightning strike kill me? Yeah, it does. Hmm. Lightning strike did exactly lethal. <sighs> Flame of Keld is rough. I didn't really think that through before the attack. I should have I should have left both my sword tooths back there. So our deck is weak against all these burn spells, which is certainly true. We were we were kind of weak before RNA came out, but then RNA adding light up the stage and skewer the critics. Uh, means that the red decks aren't really going with Experimental Frenzy, where we would be a little bit better with the Vivians. Um, so our red matchup is not is not so good. Uh, the four games we lost, though, three of them were incredibly close. Uh, both the games in that match. Um, and one of the one of the two in the other one also. They were all incredibly incredibly close coming down to, like, do they draw the burn spell or not. Uh, and, and all three, our opponents drew the burn spell, and we lost each time. Um, but... Uh, the deck still went did pretty good, um, overall. I, uh, yeah, I liked this deck. That was, that was fun. Very long league, though, you know, like, the games we were playing against Mono Red were a lot quicker because, you know, like, it's Mono Red. Uh, but you saw against those control decks, like, how, how grindy they were and everything. Um, so, um, yeah, I think, and I think our deck's pretty good against Sultai. We didn't get to, we didn't get to play the Sultai matchup, which was one I, I really wanted to face. But this, this deck's kind of built to to kind of have a lot of things against Sultai with like the seal of ways to set all the wreckages um, and all that kind of stuff. That's like kind of what, what we're, our deck's kind of designed there. Um, so that's a uh, Selesnya control. So if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe.